Hello, Life Adventurous. Welcome to another episode of the Life Adventurous Podcast. I'm Jenny Halla, your host, and I am super excited because we just finished. So at the time of this recording, it is October, the beginning of October, and we just finished the Great Cycle Challenge, which is this is the third year we've done it. And it helps to raise money for kids' cancer. And we ride our bicycles around. And this year, we I pledged 125 miles. And my goal originally was to raise $500 to help kids' cancer. And ended up raising 805 which is super exciting. And we just hit our 125 miles yesterday. We literally had to ride like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in order to do that. And it was amazing. So excited. So excited to be a part of it this year. Of course, next year, we are going to have a team. And so if you ride bikes, or if it's something you've been wanting to do, you definitely want to be a part of our Ohana. If you're not already, if you're not on our Ohana list, you want to join right now. It's number two, jhala.com forward slash Ohana, O-H-A-N-A. Join our list next year for the Great Cycle Challenge. Usually it's in June because of this year with the coronavirus and all that crap, it actually got moved to September. And so usually it's in June. So we will post about it and invite you to be a part of our team. And you can get moving and grooving out there on the trails, go explore some new things. And actually, this can be something on your life adventurous list, which I talked about on a previous episode. So if you didn't hear it, you can go hear more about how to create your life adventurous list. But this would be a perfect thing that you could add, which would be bike a certain amount of miles and a certain amount of different trails or parks or whatever. You can make it completely fun. And of course, we can help you do that. But I just wanted to share. I'm so excited that we finished that. I'm so excited that we are a part of it. It was amazing. We got to do a bunch of different trails. It was phenomenal. So... (laughs) <laughs> now to the good stuff. Today's spirit animal is butterfly spirit. And if you listen to the last episode, the, the first one in this series, the skunk spirit, you know, like when I pulled that card, I was like, oh my God, does it really have to be a skunk? I wanted to be something pretty. And then I was saved by the butterfly because the butterfly was the second one. So I think it's perfect in the way that things unfolded. But the butterfly spirit, the message is transformation is beautiful. And of course, on this card, there's lots of colors. It's a beautiful butterfly. It looks like a monarch butterfly. I could be wrong because I don't know butterflies, but that's what it looks like to me. And there's a ton of other butterflies, really pretty ones on here. And when we talk about transformation, I'm sure you've heard this before, is really change is the only true constant, okay? So sometimes in life, it's funny because we live in an apartment complex And we love it here. And we live in an apartment complex and we're in this little Facebook group with other residents. And anytime the apartment complex sends on an email or whatever, they're like, oh, we're doing this change. And like people literally flip their lid. And maybe you flip your lid too because you're like, oh my God, things are changing. I like the way they were. But if you think about it, you know, it's like change is the constant, you know, like for whatever reason, we get really scared of change because we get so comfortable. But That's life. That's what happens. Like things change. And when you think about it as it relates to your own personal growth and to your own journey, transformation is inevitable. Transformation is inevitable for your life. And if you want to continue to grow and learn and spread your wings like the butterfly, know that it's inevitable. And the thing that's kind of funny about this is sometimes what happens is when we are going through that change, it's really uncomfortable. And sometimes we resist it because we want to really hold on to the old things in our life. And we're not willing to like let that happen. And really the transformation is about letting go of the old, letting go of the things that don't serve you anymore that no longer fit the new you. But it can be a little challenging. And it's cool because once again, 
like I said in the skunk episode, and I'll probably say this in all episodes or most of them, what I love about this season is pulling from this Oracle card deck, the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed And what I love about it is the cards I pulled, I set the intention was, what is the message that you need to hear that can be for everybody's highest good? But what's cool about it is they're very, they're like their messages for me too. And just this week on a coaching call with one of our business coaches, I've been like fighting this change as I step into like a new way of doing our business and a new way of like operating because I'm like shedding some of my old beliefs from corporate. I'm shedding some of my old stories. I'm shedding some of my old behaviors. I'm shedding some of that. Yet oddly, the things that drive me the most crazy about some of those things are the things that are like the most comfortable and they're like my go-to because they're things that like provided me results in the past. So I'm like, I got to do it this way. But the thing is, is the new way that I'm trying is kind of scary because I don't have experience trying it that way in order to create the change or create the result that I want. But the thing is, is the old way is not working anymore and it's time for the new way. And the one thing that I think of with this is like, when we were talking to the business coach, she literally said like when I was kind of getting like super frustrated in the call and I was like, "Ah, and she was like, the one thing that you can do is realize that transformation is inevitable. A breakthrough is inevitable. It is going to happen. So if you refuse to accept that that transformation is inevitable or that the breakthrough is inevitable, you create tension. And that I literally did not come up with on my own. That was actually in the book here with with the Oracle card reading because I share that because that's not something I realized until I read it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so true. Like how much tension are you creating in your life right now? How much stress, how much frustration, how much pushback, like all of that. How much are you creating by refusing to accept the inevitable? And that's your transformation. That's your beautiful transformation. That's you coming out of and stepping into the new you, just like a butterfly comes out of its cocoon, right? It's like fighting and struggling as it's coming out of the cocoon. And then it emerges this beautiful butterfly. And even so, I want to just make a small point here because not all butterflies are beautiful, so to speak, right? Like some of them aren't as colorful. They're like, you know, just like monotone color, maybe colors that some would not desire as beautiful. But the thing about butterflies that makes them beautiful is that they're just playful. They're flooding around. They're like curious. They're, they almost like represent a joy. It's like, oh, a butterfly. Look, oh, look, a butterfly. And if, have you ever been to a butterfly garden? I mean, there's butterflies all over and it's like this like, wondrous experience to have a butterfly land on your hand and you can see its beautiful wings flapping and they're like so gentle and you see them flying around all around you. The butterfly garden that comes to mind is when I was in Costa Rica and we were on the coast and we stayed in um, in an all-inclusive place that had this beautiful grounds and there was like this butterfly garden that was next to this big tree and just going in, like there was just so many different colored butterflies. And it was just cool because they were like land on your shoulder. They land on your hand. They just were like free, playful, curious, loving, and just floating around. And so it reminds me of the episode about the skunk spirit knowing your worth and being in that flow state, right? And that and, and knowing your worth and being in your flow state can fuel the transformation of the butterfly spirit. And the other thing that I absolutely love about this card in this deck, and I think it's so perfect, is I really see a lot of repeating numbers and I fully haven't memorized and learned all of the different like meanings of the numbers and the symbolisms of the numbers. A lot of times I'll Google angel numbers for 11 or 1111 or 222 or whatever that is. And I see a lot of different things. And the number on this card is, is number 11. And I'm like, oh, that's so perfect because, I don't know, it's just, it kind of is like I've heard people say, and it it resonates with me, it's like an angel wink or it's just a reminder, it's a confirmation. And I actually was just Googling it, but it's going to require a little more looking into, but 
you know, people also ask, what does a white butterfly mean? Which I think is cool because the number of this is 11. We're talking about butterflies. We're talking about transformation. So this is talking about a white butterfly here and how that color white symbolizes wisdom, purity, supernatural, spirituality. And this is interesting. I mean, I'll just read it. So white butterfly's appearance is usually connected with the weather. And for the Japanese, a white butterfly represents the souls of the deceased. The white butterfly spiritual meaning is complex and beautiful at the same time. So without me doing further research on that and that just being on the fly, just once again, it's kind of like one of those things that I don't know. It's just like the little things that lead us along a journey that lead us to the answers of transformation, that lead us to the answers of our new selves and and letting go and everything. So big takeaway for today is remembering that this is a beautiful process, that you will emerge as that beautiful butterfly on the other side of the change and the discomfort, especially the more that you're playful, curious, loving, joyous, like the more that you embody those things, the easier that transformation will be, even with all the discomfort, because the discomfort is part of the process, just like that butterfly wiggling out of its cocoon. I love stuff like this. I love, you know, like blank slates and change and transformation, which is crazy because when it's happening in my own life, I can tend to resist it. Like I'm human. I'm not perfect with it. I'm like, oh no, I want, I want the old things. But like ultimately deep down, like I love the idea of a blank slate, right? Like literally there's points in our life. And honestly, 2020 might have been this opportunity for you to have a blank slate. Like you literally might have a blank slate right in front of you where, you know, something changed, right? Like something big changed in your life. And Hopefully this hasn't happened to you, but it could be a blessing in disguise, you know, if like you lost your job or you got reassigned or you you had to take a different path. And like I said, I, of course, I'm sorry if that happened to you, but sometimes these things are like blessings in disguise because they open up a different opportunity. They open up a different door for us and help us shift from something maybe that we may have stayed in longer that wouldn't have served us that now it's like kind of pushing us into the next stage of life. And I actually think of a couple of friends, right, with here in 2020. I don't know if they would have made these jumps quite yet, but it has kind of forced them to take on new things in life. So I have a friend who sold their house in California, bought an RV, and now they're just going to go float around the United States, hang out with people that they love and go see beautiful parks and the outdoors. And it's something they've always wanted to do, but this kind of pushed them into that. I also have another friend that their whole family is getting up and moving to Mexico. So that's a total life change. And then of course, just even for, for Jay and I, like we've really been thinking a lot about like, what do we want in life? It almost feels like it's a Blake slate because we would have been probably really busy with life really busy traveling and doing a lot of things that we really love. But this time of stillness, this time of pause that has been 2020, as well as some of the upheavals and the discomfort and the fear and then the joy, like all the things that have happened in 2020, it has had us really think like, what do we want in life? And one of the things I love is that Jay, and I think this, think this is so fun. So Jay has wanted like this big, huge TV and who knows, we'll probably get it at some point in the future. But I don't know, the TV was like two or $3,000. I don't know, he's super into tech and it was some TV that he's had on his wish list for a while. And recently he really found his connection and love to the water that was probably always there, but really him stepping into that. And so we decided to get stand-up paddle boards and like he is so cheesing every time we have him. He's like, I don't even care about the TV anymore. I just want to go out on the paddle board. Oh, it's so much fun to bike. Like, let's go bike. And we've been talking about lots of different things to do in our life. And so like this time is like the perfect time to really think like, how can I, you know, dream bigger about my life? What are the things that I've always wanted to do? And who do I have to become? Who do I have to step into? Who do I have to become to make this change? What kind of things do I have to shed about myself to have this transformation? And that's what's so fun, like with everything that we do, like we actually just got this really amazing testimonial from one of our students in the Next Evolution program. And it's really cool because she's like, man, you know, like just really want to spend more time with my family, want to have more energy to do that. 
want to have more confidence. And I mean, yeah, I want to lose weight, but that's like not the focus. But I was a little bit like skeptical in this process because sometimes like the way that society or culture or maybe the way that you've learned to do things is not the way that you're meant to go through them. It just kind of reminds me of the thing I said before of like letting go of those forms of life or those ways of change that no longer serve you so that you can have the transformation. Because doing what you've done that hasn't got you results, it's kind of like it's time to change, right? Like I got to switch something up. Like why keep trying the same thing over and over that isn't working and then getting mad at myself for not making the breakthrough? And so it's stepping into new ways. So with what we do in Next Evolution, it's like a whole different way. It's a whole new way of looking. And I I bet it's something you've not really heard of, or maybe you've heard pieces of, but we have a totally different approach that allows you to do it on your terms that helps you to create that sustainable change with like the most simplest of things. And you are like, you probably will push back because you're like, oh, whatever, that that can't be it. Like, just like when you're making a transformation in your life, it's like, oh, no, that that can't be it. Like, no, I can't go have fun and make this change. There's no way it's got to be harder. Like, no, it really doesn't have to be right. And it's fun to be able to watch people transform and shed off the old layers and step into that new version of themselves to where like their eyes light up with the things that they love to do and they feel so much more energy. Like that's what's there. So take that energy of the butterfly and think about how you can really just embrace the change. Embrace that transformation that you're going through and find that more playfulness. And of course, I am so excited. This is not something I've done before. I said this on the last one. I don't know how long I'm going to have these open for, but I have some spots open for the lifestyle realignment calls. So if this is really calling to you and you're like, oh my God, I want to talk to Jenny and hear some more about how I can really transform my life and how I can really take it to the next level, just reach out to me on Instagram at the Life Adventurous or shoot me an email at holla at 2jhala.com. Reach out. We'll have a chat. No pressure. Let's just talk. Like I'm, I'm, I'm craving connection with people. So take advantage of the fact that that's something that I'm offering right now because, you know, there'll be a time where I won't have the ability or won't have the time to be able to offer these kind of things. So like, let's chat. We'll get on, we'll get on a Zoom. I want to hear more about you. And then of course, find out if it's a good fit to really do one of those lifestyle realignment calls. So reach out, let me know if that's something you want to do or you want to explore. We'll talk about it. We'll see if it's a good fit, see how I can help you. And of course, I'll answer any questions that you have to help move you closer to that end goal, the, the, the fun transformation that lies ahead for you. All right, beautiful life adventurist. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next episode.